What's up dudes, Church back on another one. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all the V13 on some trails. Now this is the best trail ride video you've probably ever seen on the V13. And for me, it's definitely was my favorite trail ride I've ever done on the V13. And that's saying a lot, man. I've rode a lot of different trails. I kind of, you know, I've adapted to uh, many different trails, whether it be rocky trails, you know, single track, double track, all, what, you name it i've been on all different types of trails before but these trails in spe uh, specific are actually dirt bike trails and you're probably thinking hey man you know those are gonna be rutted out and just be a nightmare to ride an electric unicycle on but this is actually not the case this is the first time i've ever been on these specific dirt bike trails and they really were actually perfect for the electric unicycle and the v13 guys I mentioned this in the last video where I was talking about the the new in motion adventure but the v13 guys I'm liking it now after I've really gotten used to it I've only rode this wheel pretty much you know this has been my go-to guys and the reason for that is so I can really get adapted to it and used to it now I did go for a ride the other day on the Sherman and my uh, v12 high speed and then I switched back to this and even just switching back for like you know riding those two wheels for a day and then coming back to the v13 it was just w such an abrupt change man the v13 is a wheel you have to you you have to ride it get used to it and just stick with it man like if you get this wheel my best advice for, for you is to get it you know you notice how i literally haven't even changed the power pads on this thing at all and i've literally kept the tape on them and everything i've it's because I don't want to change anything about this wheel. I have it set exactly how I like it. I have the power pads exactly where I want them. And getting used to this machine is just key. And once you do that, you'll be able to really trail ride this thing without that kind of awkward awkwardness to it. When you first get this wheel, it's going to be a little bit heavy. So when you go to like tr turn in your corners and stuff like that, your upper body movement may just be a little bit awkward. You know, your your head might be a little bit leaning over too far. Your hips might not be in the right place whenever you're going into your corners. And all that just comes because you're get, you're adapting to the weight. But give it a little bit of time, ride some trails. You know, you don't have to ride trails full speed. Just cruise on them and you will your brain and you, the way the human body is, you will pick up so fast on you know how to manage the weight of the machine and how to really trail ride it. I, I am super excited about the In Motion Adventure coming out for trail ride and stuff like this, but I want a lot of guys to see like the In Motion V13 is still going to be one of the fastest street riding electric unicycles. I mean, you can see right here I'm trail riding this machine. But if I want to, I can take it on the road and open it up and go 56 miles per hour. You know, right here in the woods on these standard trails, I'm usually in the range of about 27 to like 34 miles per hour, honestly, through all these trails right here. But having the peace of mind, and I rode this thing to the trail, surprisingly, guys. I literally rode this thing. I had to hit some highway roads. I had to hit some bike paths. I had to hit some main roads. And I was able to ride and even get back the thing about the v13 guys this is what you really need to know is this type of riding right here uses like no battery on the v13 even if you have to do some hill climbs and stuff like that if you're keeping it under like 40 miles per hour and you're just cruising trails and stuff like this and not like really wrenching on it you know accelerating from red lights and stuff like that and coming to a stop in the city and accelerating again and coming to a stop and accelerating again if you just cruise trails like this, dude, your battery life is incredible. Um, so I was able to ride literally all day long on trails up here. And then you can, I was able to ride back. I had plenty of battery to even ride back. And and a lot of people are like, oh, the InMotion V13 doesn't have enough range and all that. Dude, it has, seriously, at 3,000 watt hours, for if you like trail riding and stuff like this, that's all you need. Like if you're a hardcore range rider, you need to think about that before you buy your electric unicycle. Like if you live somewhere where you're just hitting bike paths and you're cranking out, you know, 35, 40 miles, you know, just in one little, one little go between, you know, your work commute or whatnot, and you just got to crank out miles, you may want to look at something that has more, you know, a lot more watt hours in it. You might want to look at 
that should be one of your primary statistics if you're going for a ranged electric unicycle. But for for me, I'm liking this. I can't go back to a wheel that doesn't have suspension now. And it, it's so wild because the the V13, it has great suspension in it, but it, it wasn't one of those wheels whenever I first got it that I thought would be the wheel that was like, okay, I, this is going to make it to where I, I don't even like non-suspension wheels anymore. But dude, it really is the case. Like even if you get your tire pressure perfect on a non-suspension wheel, after you ride a suspension wheel like the V13, like a high quality suspension wheel for, you know, a thousand miles or so, it is just crazy, dude, trying to switch back to a non-suspension wheel. It's crazy, just the chattering. Like it, it felt like my brain. I was riding I was riding the, the OG Sherman the other day, and it felt like my brain was jiggling inside my skull, bro, compared to riding this v, V13 with suspension. And I I you know I'm not dogging the non-suspension wheels. I know a lot of people got them, a lot of people have them on my recommendations. And, you know, keep rocking with them, keep riding them. But I want to let you know, like, for your next thing, like, if you, you're you into the hobby and it's what you like, like, suspension is where it's at, dude. It makes, like, look at this fire road right here. This is rocky. If I was riding it with a non-suspension wheel, I'd have to be taking it much slower or either really bending my knees, staying real light on my feet, you know, and just really paying attention to what I'm doing. When it comes to... a uh, suspension wheel like this with a big wheel that's why i also like the v13 man just the big huge wheel in combination with the suspension it just glides over everything like effortlessly man it is heavy but dude it just like once you're on it does it look like the weight's bothering me at all right now i mean really does it look like the weight i mean right now while i'm riding it right here would i want a lighter weight wheel no this thing is just the weight and the suspension and the size of the wheel are just eating these rocks and all these little, you know, erosion spots that may come up or whatnot. You, you don't even notice them on a wheel like this. Now, if I was riding something smaller, something lighter weight, or say if it was just something even just lighter weight, you know, the, this whole thing was the same exact size, suspension, everything, and lighter weight, um, I don't know if it would honestly be better in a situation where you're like going into rocks at speed like that i think the weight really kind of helps it sounds crazy but you know as a lighter weight rider i feel like you know the machine's weight is actually kind of helping me out when it comes to this thing actually maintaining its traction on the ground you don't see this thing bouncing up in the air near as much as a lot of the other lighter you know the non-suspension wheels man i couldn't keep them on the ground the tire was just hitting every rock flying up in the air uh, constantly and this is just way more planted and stable and i just it, it took forever to get used to it i'll admit it but now that i'm used to it man it's gonna be weird getting used to a, a different wheel now it really is it's gonna be so strange just because i'm i mean look at that does that not look plush to you does it look like the weight was affecting me going over that little roller right there i you know was able to pump get air go smooth it just it works man it really works now, I really think the in motion adventure is just going to be, you know, a, a definitely a superior design to this, though, because of the whole slider mechanism. You know, the one thing in the V13 that I, I just don't like as much that could be more refined is just the whole, you know, slider mechanism in it. It is kind of rudimentary. It's, you know, it's basically just, I mean, like a shell kind of sliding on sliders it's not it's really not much to it it does it work yeah um is it the most perfect thing in the world probably not and that's why they've you know made the adventure now but if if you're riding this thing mainly on the road and you're you, you can see right here the suspension articulates fine it rides smooth etc but on the road man you're not ever really using the suspension as much as I am here, man, I really am making this V13 work. I'm making this thing, you know, the suspension on this V13 has gone to work since I've had it because I've taken it on nothing but trails, etc. And I, I really, I think it's good for that, but you got to understand where this V, the V13 is made to be on the street, man. And like this thing is, it definitely is the safest, most powerful uh, highest speed electric unicycle out there i've seen 
a lot of the videos, you know, this, the recent video of the EX30 versus the Master, if you know what I'm talking about. Dude, those things look slow, bro. I'm not kidding you. And like, I know, after riding the V13, man, I just know, like, l looking at many other videos of the Masters, your Master Pros, etc. The V13's got it, dude. The V13, you get this thing on a full charge, and you're out there riding between 180% of charge on this. This is by far the fastest EUC, the safest fastest EUC out there. I really think so. I mean, it by far is. And the fact that you can also comfortably trail ride it is just, you know, it's amazing. It really is. And that's why I, I've liked this so much, man. This is my go-to. Like the other day I was in the garage looking at all my wheels and I was like, which one, you know, which one do I want to ride? And I wanted to ride something different than the V13, just because I know y'all are getting kind of burnt out on the V13 videos. And I could not hardly bring myself to charge up that V12 high speed and the OG Sherman to go ride them. But I did it. I charged them up and I went out there and rode them both. And I had a blast riding them, but I'm telling you, I wanted, if I could have switched them out to be on the V13 during the ride of both those wheels, I would, man. And it's just like, you get so used to this wheel that like trying to change up to go to even like a lighter weight suspension wheel, trying to change up to go to like a, you know, any other wheel than the v13 after you get used to it is very hard i'm not i'm not kidding you um and i i really think the in motion adventure is going to be perfect though like for, for what i like to do like the, these type of rides where i like to go ride trails and, and stuff like that but one thing i really like about the in motion v13 man is being able to get on the roadway and and get to the trails i can get on this v13 dude and riding at 53 50 like 50 plus miles per hour it feels like nothing dude it feels safe and that's dude it's crazy to say that i know it's crazy and the people out there that may be just getting into eucs to have somebody say yeah oh it feels safe it feels completely normal to ride at 50 miles per hour on an electric unicycle you know 50 miles per hour plus but dudes i am telling you once you once you get used to the v13 riding 50 miles per hour on this thing it really seems like nothing at all it really does and it's there's no other wheel i can say that about guys like for instance like my or original sherman that's my my og sherman as i call it and that thing is insanely fast but th what i'm getting at is like this one's 3000 watt hours the og sherman's 3200 watt hours they're about you know kind of the same but I, I, what i want to say is the suspension on the v13 makes you be able to trail ride the machine way faster it makes you be able to take this thing on all terrains and ride it at a much higher rate of speed once you get used to it then you know a wheel without suspension guys i'm telling you it's incredible the v13 i th i still think will be a top seller the adventure i think is going to be awesome as well if you want to get any electric unicycle guys the links below whatever one you get whatever euc you choose to buy use the link below to get it from whatever manufacturer that you see and it gives me a small little kickback it helps me like travel around to get hotels i really do that guys i traveled this ride right here i traveled in colorado to go to a hotel just to be able to ride for a few days to bring you this footage but i really appreciate you if you can hit that link it costs no extra to you and i greatly appreciate that but it's been chooch i'll see you dudes in the next one peace Some of y'all ask why I like trail riding more than street riding like this. 
I love the street riding, guys. I love going fast. I love this, bro. This is exhilarating, bro. It gets the heart pumping. But I'm telling you, you won't be able to do this. You won't get away with this every day. By and I, what I mean by get away with this, bro, like you literally, this is all luck right here, dude. You're playing the odds, you're gambling the cards, you're rolling the dice when it comes to riding in traffic this way. And that's why I like trail riding, man. When you're on the trails, it's you and nature and maybe a bear or a raccoon or a squirrel every now and then, and that's it. But when it comes to riding like this, dude, you gotta be so vigilant to watch everything else going around on around you. And that's why I really wanna get a lot of people involved in trail riding. It's because trail riding is a lot safer and you can develop your skills way better and become a great rider and have a great time without worrying about your surroundings like you do in the city.